Hello everyone, this is Palestella. Welcome, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be having a day in the life with me as a financial analyst in corporate finance. And I will be taking you guys along with me. Right now it is around 7 a.m. and I will be heading out soon to go to the office so that I'll arrive around 8 and then I'll get started with the day. Oh, and uh, before we head out, this is the outfit for the day. I'm wearing some Oxfordy like shoes, a uh, pleated skirt from Babaton at Aritzia, um, a sweater from Sunday Best at Aritzia, and a blazer from H&M. My office really has a very business casual dress code, so we can really mostly wear what we want. The main requirement to be good at my job is to be a freak in the sheets. You know, Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> because that is literally what I spend almost all my time every day doing. <laughs> so yeah, but I will see you there, guys. I wanted to also just give you a few more details on my job. So I'm a financial analyst. I joined the company around three months ago. I sit in the corporate finance department, more specifically the investment analysis department, where I help value different uh, potential investment projects to sort of find the ones that could at the most value the best rate of return on the company's capital. And so this company, it's publicly listed. It has offices around the world, I think maybe in 10 different countries, maybe more. I should know this, but I don't. But that was kind of just like a quick overview Obviously, every job that you get in corporate finance, like no two jobs are going to be the same. I just wanted to check in with you and give you an update on how my day is going. Um, and so after I arrived here at the office in the morning, I had a little bit of time to just sort of settle down, get prepared for the day. And then I had my first meeting. It was a long one, it was three hours. It was a onboarding meeting for all the new employees that have joined the company um, in the past quarter. And so that includes me. So it was really just about sort of overall company strategy and history and, and that kind of thing. And so um, it wasn't too demanding. So I got to do a little bit of work um, during it too, which was really nice. And then after that meeting, I had around an hour or so before lunch break. And so I spent that working in a a uh, Excel model, a discounting cash flow DCF model um, for a project that I am assigned to. I don't, I don't like to speak of things before they're finished, mm. um, but it's um, so far a masterpiece, if I do say so myself. And this is your reminder to please like and subscribe. Thank you. That was awkward. <sighs> After that, I had lunch with some of my co-worker friends. We have a cafeteria dining hall in the office because it's a pretty big office building that I'm in. I think in this office alone, we're like 4,000 people maybe. And so it's, it's nice to kind of have our own lunch area too. And so after that, I have really just been working in the same Excel DCF model. Also, for those of you who don't know what a discount of cash flow model is, it is basically a model that you use to value something based on the cash flow so you expect that something to generate in the future. And so the something could be a company or it could also be a smaller thing like a investment project that a company is considering investing in. Um, and so for me, working in corporate finance, I focus on the latter. So the projects that companies uh, can invest their own capital in. And then I think now it's around 3 p.m. or so. And so my plans for the rest of the day is I have another two meetings. Um, one is about the DCF model that I'm working on. And the other one is, is also about the project that the DCF model is based on. But that meeting is more sort of high level, more about the overall project and not just about the numbers. 
I guess. <laughs> so that is what the rest of my day is gonna look like. My workload definitely changes a lot week to week, I would say. Sort of some weeks are very heavy and others are a bit easier. This is definitely more of an easy week. And then I know in a couple of weeks things are gonna change again and I'm gonna be more busy. So it really just depends on how far away you are from your next deadline because it's such a big organization and I'm working together with so many different departments. And so they kind of have to, you know, put together the input that I need for my Excel models. And so I need to wait on them to, of course, get me that input. Um, and so while they're doing that, I have less work to do. So yeah, while they're sort of working on getting me the input, um, I obviously have less work to do and then, then I'm more in a waiting position. And so depending on sort of how my different projects align, my workload can really vary a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much how the day is going. And so it's been good. I'm excited for the rest of the day and I should probably get back to it now, but I will check in again with you guys later today. Oh, and if you are curious where I'm sitting, I'm sitting in one of these soundproof boxes that are just kind of like out in the open. Um, it's a really nice place where you can go if you do need some privacy or just want to get away from the noise of being in the office or if you have a, you know, a Zooms meeting or a Teams meeting or something. But I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, as you may be able to tell, I am back home now. It is like 10 past seven or so, and I figured I would just tell you how the rest of my day went. And so I had my two meetings that I mentioned to you, and the one that was sort of high level about the project, I mean, it went well, but I was also told that apparently I have this huge deadline for all this work that no one told me that I was assigned to do. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And so this week, it's not gonna be calm and easy like I thought it was going to. But I mean, that's what you sign up for. And honestly, I think it's one of the good things too. Like, you really don't know fully what any day is going to bring. And it's so cliche to say, but like two days are never truly alike, you know? And I think that makes it fun and interesting too. So I really don't mind. Other than that, what else happened? Oh, I, uh, I spilled a whole full cup of tea on the floor in the office at my desk in front of everyone. I'll insert a photo here. I mean, I'm not surprised really. I'm a very clumsy person. Now my new coworkers know that too, so that's great. I mean, not much to say about it. Like they were all nice about it, so. And other than that, I just did some more work in Excel because what else would I spend my time on, you know? Um, <laughs> Literally, sometimes I wonder why I went to school for so many years and never had a class in Excel. Like, I just learned Excel, you know, in my own time, like I think most people do. And it's like the most important skill in my job. <laughs> it's just so crazy to me that like we don't teach young people that sort of in a more structured way. I don't know. What else? What else? What else? Oh, maybe you're wondering if I'm going into the office like all the time I'm working from home or what I'm up to. And so I'm pretty much going into the office every day. Like it's only on special occasions that I'll work from home and I need like sort of permission prior to that or like it needs to be scheduled in advance and like all these different things. So I just work from the office and it's mostly because I'm a new employee and so that's just a policy for new employees that they have, uh, especially in my team, I think and i totally see why they have that i mean you do get to know people a lot quicker i think in general if you are just working around each other first then oh then you go and grab coffee together or like you have lunch together and like all these different things um and that's harder to do if you know you're from a screen at home but i definitely do love the flexibility of working from home and just like how calm your work day feels like because you're not in a busy, loud office setting. You're just at home at your desk. No one else is there. Like you can just focus on your work a lot better, I think. But yeah, my company overall has a hybrid work model. I think it differs between teams, like how much hybrid it really is. But that's sort of the overall company policy right now, like many others, I guess. Other than that, I don't think I have too much else to share. I think that was it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton and I really appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Bye.